All right, Mike. Elon Musk is a controversial name. Um, you know, he's he supported Donald Trump. So if you like Donald Trump, you love Elon. If you don't like Donald Trump, you hate Elon. But he sparked some interest in Pittsburgh because he was there uh, for the Cowboys Steelers game. He was waving the terrible towel. Um, he said he went to college in Penn, so he's got some Pennsylvania ties. Mm-hmm. It was interesting because during the game, and Mike, you and I are definitely aren't billionaires, so you know we don't know this life. <laughs> But you're hanging out with billionaires. You're talking like maybe you and I go to the Steelers game and we say, hey, we're going to get a hot dog. And we're like, that's a big expenditure. <laughs> well, if you're a billionaire, you're like, man, I want to build a nice big company right here. And you point across the field or whatever else the case might be. Yeah. Well, Elon was having that conversation. And apparently it got so serious where a buddy of his in the suite called the governor of Pennsylvania and said, hey, let's see if we can do that. <laughs> well, you know how X goes, or the former Twitter, yeah. everyone starts talking about, well, we've got ideas. Well, the Pirates, you know, they've been frugal in the past, and, you know, their ownership gets criticized a lot for that. So people say, man, if Elon really wants to make a difference here in the Pittsburgh area, why does he buy the Pirates? Mm-hmm. And again, this is all speculation. There's been nothing to say. We're just responding to Twitter people, which is kind of silly. But Man, what would that be like? Do you, do you think Elon would ever go into sports ownership? I don't know. I think that guy's got so many irons in the fire. I don't know how he could possibly do that, Chris, but who knows? <laughs> he certainly has the money to do it. <laughs> and I guess that could be the thing because, like, Mark Cuban, I think, has some times in Pittsburgh there, and there was some talk saying, could Mark Cuban ever buy the Pirates? He's like, ah, I don't have time. But a guy like Mark Cuban wants to be in control. Like he wants to negotiate trades and everything. Yeah. I, I guess Elon, you know, hey, you could spend the money and just say, all right, I'll go to the game every once in a while, wave a towel, and I'll be good. You know? Yeah, it'd be yeah, a nice yeah. option to have. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, it would be if you can. Um, I, I think it'll be interesting. And hey, maybe if he does that, you know, with Twitter. I mean, you know, I know Paul Skeens is going to be really popular now. Maybe could it help promote Paul Skeens even more. Heck, maybe the Pirates could get a big stake in Twitter. Right? Yeah. But yeah, there's some talk now that like Musk is more conservative in nature, which is fine. We're not going to debate that at all. But you see, sometimes more conservative accounts get more attention. Well, think if he bought the Pirates with that same mentality, maybe the Pirates get more attention on Twitter. Maybe, like yeah. you know. The, yeah, maybe the Pirates can become America's team. Like when you go on your Twitter, if you like the Pirates or not, you'll see more Pirates tweets. Who knows? <laughs> it's an interesting thought, Chris. <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely. Um, what do you think is going to happen with the Pirates? I, I, I know you, you've had ties to ownership, so I'm not, I, I'm not looking for you to say anything good or bad about them. But do, do you think the current ownership stays in control of the Pirates, or do you think they would ever sell it down the road? Well, I, I think like uh, we, you know, we talked about the, the smaller markets, the Clevelands and the Pittsburghs and teams like that. Uh, you know, they have about a five year window. You know, you you sign those guys their rookie contracts. And then, you know, by the time that second contract comes due, you have to you have to have done something uh, because yeah. the small market teams, unlike the, the Yankees or the, you know, the Dodgers or teams like that who can just wheel and deal every year. You know, they, they they're not in a position to do that. So. You have to hit lightning in a bottle, and that those five years you have those guys on a rookie contract. So I don't know. That's a good question. I think you know there's been quite a bit of stability uh, as far as ownership uh, with that organization. So you know who knows, Chris. I I would think it's it's probably going to be status quo, but but who knows? Well, I think it, it, there's another challenge, and this is a ten hour podcast we could do another day. I I think we're coming to the point in journalism that you know you and I know each other from as well as sports. It used to be, hey, you own a team and spend the money. If you lose a lot of money, oh, well, you're rich. I think a lot more of these owners are like, yeah, they like sports. That's why they own the team. But you got to think about the bottom line. And that's why sometimes decisions get made with the Pirates and decisions get made with newspapers that the classic old school people are like, like, oh, no, why aren't they spending money? Well, if that's your business, you want to make money. If you and I – own a McDonald's down the road. Yeah, we want to make money. And right. I, it's a hard thing. It's just something we got to figure out. Yeah, it is. All right. 